hey guys, students, parents, but especially students, I wanna give you a quick tour around a Google Classroom so it's not confusing for you. Now when you log in, you're gonna be on your stream, and your stream, think of it just like a big wall where everything's posted on. The newest always goes on top. So this is where your teacher may give you messages. You may or may not be able to reply to those messages. Some teachers have it turned on, some have it turned off. But it's not just somewhere where we're to be typing messages all the time and everything, because that could clutter things up. Because look, it's a way for your teacher to communicate things with you, like, look, here's some pictures you could look at. Maybe there's a message for you. So it's kind of like a teacher's way of just giving you quick messages for you. And there's a way for you to write back, like if you had a question on one of those posts. Now for your classwork right here, this is where all your work is. And every teacher will have it organized a little differently. So maybe there's little topics to click on. So you could click on, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and it'll go to different things. Or you could just scroll down and see everything in there. But I'm gonna go to Monday right here. I'm gonna pick an assignment and you're gonna see different little logos, I guess, little icons, pictures. So this one that has paper on it, that means it's an assignment. That means it's something you turn in because it's like a piece of paper. So think of Google Classroom like a normal classroom, except it's digital. So try to always think it's like a normal classroom. So same reason you wouldn't want to just be shouting out and saying everything you want in your stream. You're not going to be typing out everything you want because that would not be nice. In your classwork, a piece of paper means it's work you have to turn in. So your teacher gave you a piece of paper, you have to do it and you have to turn it back into your teacher. This one, it looks like a little book with a bookmark on it. That means like it's something that you can reference, like a resource, like something you could look at. So maybe it is just a piece of paper to read. Maybe it's a video to watch. Maybe it's a link to click on, but it's not work to turn in. It's something that you'll be looking at. Okay, there'll also be other couple things. Maybe there's some questions and things, but you'll get more familiar with that. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I'll click on one that's just a material. It's called a material. So see, I could read it and click on it, but let's just push view. So that way everything's on the screen and I'll go ahead and see I could view that material and I could add a comment and that's it. There's nothing else to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on an assignment. So look, I am on an assignment. There's the directions, I could immediately click on it, but I'm gonna view the assignment so I'm inside the assignment. So I'm in the assignment and look, I'll see right here there were slides added for me. So check it out, when I click on it, this is work that my teacher gave me. So now I'm in the work, so maybe there's work I have to do, so I'll click in the box, I'll do my work, and now my work's all perfect, I did everything. Now, look right up here, it always says saving, all changes saved. So watch right up here one more time, then when I typed out my paragraph, everything's good to go. It saved it, so it all named it for me and everything. And look, it's already right there. I didn't have to attach anything. I didn't have to do anything. But just like in class, you don't want to be that kid that your teacher's like, where's your work? And you're like, I did it. And your teacher's like, where's your work? And you're like, I don't know. My backpack in my desk. I didn't know I was supposed to turn it in. You don't want to be that kid, right? So a lot of times it will tell you when it's due. So you'll be able to read on the screen when it's due. So then turn it in by that day. But if it doesn't say a due date, you still want to turn it in when you're finished. Otherwise, your teacher won't know you finished it and they're not going to be going looking around inside your virtual desk. Where is that work at? And then they find out, oh, you didn't even do it. So you got to turn it in and check out how easy this is. All you do is you push turn in. And look, it's saying I'm going to turn in three things because I had three things right here. And you're like, sure, I'm going to turn it in. Now, once you turn it in, it's exactly like when you turn in work in class. So if you had your paper in class and you turn it into your teacher, your teacher has your work. You can't do your work anymore. So it's the same way. Once you turn in your work on Google Classroom, you can't edit your work, you can't change your work because you put it on your teacher's desk. And now it's waiting on your teacher's desk. Your teachers will look at it. They could grade it if it's a graded assignment. They could write you back a comment. That's like writing on your paper and then 
they could hand it back to you. When they hand your work back to you, you'll see if they put a comment on there, you'll see if there's a grade on there, and then it'll be back in your possession like they gave you the piece of paper. So, but let's say you turn something in and then you're like, oh no, I forgot something on there. Look, I could simply unsubmit my work and that means like you walked up to the teacher's desk and you're like, excuse me, I need my work back. And then you got your work back. So, hmm. so now I got my work back again. So let me show you that one more time. I turn in my work and that's like turning it into the teacher. So now check it out. My work is turned in. So if I go back to this document right here, like my paragraph I was writing, look, I can't, I can't write on my document. Look, I can't do anything. All I could do is look at it because I turned it in on my desk. Kind of like if you turned in a piece of paper on your desk, you're like, can I look at that again? And your teacher's like, all right, but you can't touch it. So if you want to touch your work again, you simply just unsubmit your work. When your teacher returns your work to you, it'll be kind of like the same thing where you'll see your work back in here and you'll be able to turn in your work again. And you might say, why would I want to turn my work in again? Well, maybe you have to fix your work or maybe your teacher said, please fix number two and you could turn your work in again. But once you turn in your assignment, then you're done unless your teacher asks you for something else. So it's not like you're not going to keep pushing that turn in button every time they give it back because... Just like when your teacher hands you back, here you go, here's your spelling test, you did a good job. You don't turn in your spelling test again and then they give it back and then you turn it in again and they give it back. So just think about Google Classroom like a regular classroom and it'll be a lot easier for you. So watch, I'm gonna push turn in one last time. I'm gonna turn in my work right there. And again, I'll see my work is turned in. Now I'll go back to my classroom one more time. And look, when I'm looking at that list, look, it'll say right here, turned in. So I already know I turned in that work. But when I click on a different one, look, it says assigned. Like they assigned me that assignment, but I have not turned it in yet. So again, that makes it super easy for you because you could see, look, I turned it in and it's all good. Hopefully that helps. See you guys later. Have a good night.